What's up guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on this new object wipe transition plugin and this is a transition plugin that's going to allow you to get that really clean wipe mask transition really easily. So these are the two video clips that I want to transition between and they've got a nice bit of sideways panning motion so for this one I'm going to go over here to my transition tab and use the horizontal wipe preset. It also comes with a vertical wipe preset. So I'm going to select the side of my video clip and just double click on the preset to add the transition. And if I play that back, it gives it a nice wipe transition using an object which you can change. So if I go up here to the parameters, I have a drop zone which I can add any PNG image to which will change the middle object that transitions between the two video clips. And then the object type, you can also change this to match the scene. So for this one, I'm going to use the traffic lights and then I'm going to use all of the settings here to match it to my video clips. I'm going to scale this up and move it up into position. And then I'm just going to change the brightness so that it matches my video clips. And you also have the uh, motion blur. So now if I play this back, you should get a really clean wipe transition with an object that matches my scene. And it's super easy and super fast. So to add in your own objects, you want to use the drop zone up here. I've imported a PNG image from Google. And what's good about this is that you can pretty much find any image as a PNG file, which is already cut out for you. Click the drop zone and then just click the PNG image up here, apply to clip. And then you just have to change the settings so that it's the size you want and then play it back. And it will automatically create the transition for you. It will wipe the object across screen and also cut both of the video clips so that it creates a nice seamless transition. So yeah, a really easy to use and useful plugin that's going to create some good looking transitions. So I'll leave a link to the plugin down below. One version is just the custom preset that you have to add in your own PNGs. And then the other one comes with a bunch of preset objects that you can just add into a project. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.